told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away everybody welcome back to the channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i edit my photos in lightroom and this is something that i like to do just like on my spare time to practice with photos making them look a little bit better a little bit more sharper more clarity and more depth so i did take four pictures we're going to be editing all four of these and just show you the steps and tools that you could use to make your photos look a ton better and you know instead of just posting a photo and you know just taking it as is you can you can actually really mess around with it so we're gonna hop into this first one i kind of want to get rid of this sun flare that i see at the bottom because it is kind of like an eyesore so what you can do is go to your healing tool which is on the bottom and select the healing tool and you can mess around with the size and then Kind of just drag it over the sun flare and that way you can mask it so that way it's not as noticeable so you can go ahead and do that also when i look at a photo when i take a photo i like to pretty much crop it and just kind of take stuff out that's not necessary so kind of just make this photo a little bit more linear just to focus on the car so go ahead and do that and then we can get into editing the actual highlights and contrast. I mean, there's a whole range of things. Exposure, definitely, if there is highlight, you wanna take the exposure down. And I'm not a pro photographer or anything, but you know, I did learn exposure. You know, it's, it's very bright. Contrast, I love to use because it brings out the blacks and the whites and highlights as well. Um, you can bring it down. So these are just a, a couple things you can mess around with to drastically change the photo. And, you know, contrast is definitely good, cool to use. And I do recommend uh, messing around with the white balance. Like you can pinpoint different colors. So if you want to mess with the blues, you can change the blues, reds, hue, saturation, vibrancy. Definitely use the vibrancy. Temperature. I'm in the desert, so... I like to kind of use warmer photos or warmer filters just because it brings out, you know, the sun and, and pretty much like the desert, like where you are. A lot of people like cooler filters, but me personally, I do like a warmer one. Again, you saw there the dehaze and clarity is definitely good to make the picture a little bit sharper. And the vignette, I don't really use it as much uh, only because I just, you know, kind of want to just keep the picture as is. And I do use filters just to bring out the colors. There are so many filters that you could use in regards to color. I like to go with Vivid, which brings out most of the colors and it doesn't look like Photoshop or anything. It does look very real, but there are so many that you can do in, in each specific category, like this one here. It's like a matte, so it kind of just, you know, mutes all the colors and, you know, you have warm shadows, you know, turquoise and red. All these things you could use um, just to change up the mood of the photo, but I'm sticking with Vivid. I like this look and we're going to go ahead and pretty much save this photo and then I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second. So this is before Holy Jesus. and then this is after. And like I said, man, these colors, you just you just bring them to life in this app, man. I love Lightroom. So we're going to hop into this next photo. This is of my wheel, same location, just a different picture. And basically kind of want to align the photo a little bit. So I, when I look at a photo, I kind of want to make it like symmetrical or kind of linear, kind of, you know, not like angled down or anything like that. So I kind of, you know, you can mess around with that, crop it however you like. And I think I once you have a good idea of, of how you want it you can go ahead and click on that and then we move on to editing so contrast 
exposure, definitely important in my opinion, because it does, like I said, bring out the whites and the blacks. So you can use that. Shadow is good in some instances. And, you know, just because my car is a white car, like, you know, it, you, you will notice a difference if you mess with these colors and you know, especially against the, the background. Vibrancy, I do use a lot. And again, temperature, I like warmer climate. So I'm gonna mess with the, with the warm temperature. Um, dehaze, I like to use the dehaze. It does give it uh, more definition. And clarity sometimes, I like to use clarity, but I don't like it to look like too, too clear. Just kind of, you know, like too Photoshopped. And then filters, like I said, man, Vivid, that's my go-to right there. A sunset just kind of hits with, with Vivid. It's your preference. Again, you can pretty much do whatever you want. There's the before, man. It doesn't even look like the same photo almost. Like it just brings out the sky so much better. So that's that. I like the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my camera roll. And then we're gonna move on to the next photo. Okay, so the next photo, there is a lot of light in this photo, so I like to bring the contrast up. And by no means am I like a professional, guys. Like I don't, I don't sit here and edit, you know, for a living. I just do this just because, you know, it is one of my interests and I love to do this. So, you know, you guys can edit however you guys want to edit. This isn't like the go-to way on how to edit, but this is just how I edit my photos. And this is just something that you can do. Temperature, like I said, I do like a little bit warmer temperature. And you can mess around with the white balance if you really want. Tint is cool because it does kind of mute it a little bit. All right, moving along to the filters. I think I'm gonna use a different filter on this one. Normally I use Vivid, but you know, certain filters look a little better than most. But I think like, it gives it a little bit more emotion. I think it was, I'm not sure if it was matte, like a matte one. I think it was this one here, yeah. So I like the look of that. So here is the before I exposed and here is the after. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and then we're gonna get on to the last photo. All right, so this is my driveway. I noticed my toolbox in the back is a little loud, so I wanna go ahead and kind of crop this photo. Just focus pretty much, like I said, on the subject. So I'll go ahead and bring it in a little bit and crop it there. All right, so once I have it cropped, hit that auto, auto button. It kind of just brings the colors out so you, so you can see what you're working with. Exposure. Looks all right. Highlights, I kind of like to bring up a little bit and then mess with the black so they kind of pop. Temperature, I go for a little bit warmer temperature. You know, you'll see that, that the different color contrast, like you can pinpoint different colors, like I said, which is kind of cool, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and add a filter on this photo. And I'm not sure which one I used, but I think I did the Vivid. And yeah, it's just as easy as that, guys. You can transform your photo into something just like this. And I go into the specific yellow, I think, and kind of make it a little bit darker. See how dark you can make it? You can, you can mess around with it, but I don't make it too, too dark, but I don't really want like a yellow. I kind of want like a gold because it kind of like accents the picture. Pretty much save that. And yeah, there it is, guys. Thanks again for stopping by. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. It really, really helps me out. Also, I'm so close to 700 subs. So if you guys want to just go ahead and hit that sub button for me, a lot of you guys are watching my videos, but you're not subbed to the channel, man. You guys got to subscribe to the channel. I have so much more stuff. You guys don't even know, man. But again, thank you guys for your support. Hit that post notifications button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.